Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for Friday, July the 2nd, starting with the Russell here. We've seen just the daily chart here, by the way. Um, we've seen a slight uptick uh, here and um, yeah, taking out that uh, previous high uh, here that we talked about yesterday would suffice that. So you may have been clicked in here already. It's always nice to go a point above. Um, but yeah, we've had our little trend here and our correction. So we, and we've retested the two, three here. So a little bit early, normally we would be sort of up here and we can bring it down to here, but we brought it right down to here. We could have brought it down further. That's the robo method. Um, you can read about that on the website. Um, yeah, so let's just see how this uh, plays out. I mean, coming back up this high here should see this market uh, and testing after testing the two three, which is um, which is important because it's um, part of two thousand minor group one one two and three. Finding developing support here on a retest and taking the high out here that would um, set the target for 2,500 at that point. So yeah, nice longer term trade here for this. Okay, so um, the S&P, um, this is basically the pathway we're following to the upside. So one and two here, and then wave three up here, closer to, well, just up here somewhere. We'll uh, just count our way up and um, yeah, so from wave four to wave five, we're looking for five waves, so that can go on the low here. And uh, still a bit small, it still bugs me this. Um, but uh, for the time being, uh, one and two, I've got a few counts to the upside when it comes to this little move in through here, but they're all to the upside, and yeah, everything, you know, on an intraday basis is pointing up. We're not seeing any impulse waves to the downside. Uh, the only ones that are really looking a bit weak, really, are the European indices. Um, but yeah, this is also an, an important point here too, the 4,300. That's the top of minor group one of 4,000. So gaining support here would set the target for this. So you need to ask yourself, is that tested support yet? You know, uh, do we have a do we have a pattern like this here? If <clears throat> this is 4.3, do we have the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level? Has it tested it? Is it making new highs? Because this is when you want to be feeding it in over this side, not getting these breakouts and these sorts of things, you know? So understanding this basic pattern um, uh, is, well, it's helpful. So um, yeah, that's the question that you need to ask yourselves. And uh, yeah, so this is the basic pattern. So we can sort of drill in here in different ways and look at it. And some of them might be slightly, uh, slightly different. This one here is slightly different. Um, this is a different count. Uh, this this count here um, still takes us higher. I've just got this as three and four here, then one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and five, finishing off here. I don't think this is the, the count, but it was just something that I was looking at, but it still takes us higher. <clears throat> This is our main sort of count here where we've got uh, wave four here with one, two, three, four, five for one and two here. And then looking toward the upside uh, here for, well, we're going from wave two to wave three here. And as I've probably mentioned before, we're looking for, um, uh, well, there's different ways to do this, but probably have to do that the other way around. I normally eyeball everything, so that's, well, first of all, <clears throat> this this length, the length of wave one plus one six, uh, plus 61.8%, um, that's the target that we will need to uh, acknowledge, and then we can lift this up to here, and then also look for this target area here. I'll just put them in there subtly there so they don't make a big deal. But there'll be two areas that, so 4.4 four is going to be a little bit critical. Normally 4 wouldn't bother me too much, the 400. Um, and of course the 500 here will, uh, being 5 being the second strongest number, will definitely play out as well. So we don't really have a um, 
uh, a good support system on the 4-3 here on the top of group one at the moment. I'm kind of okay with it to a point because when I think about it, we've got wave two here, then wave two and wave two. So really we've got the third of the third of the third here. It may not be the case because as I mentioned, this little play here can be counted uh, differently. Um, but it's kind of, we've got this sort of little arrival here and a little little reaction here and then the first high above the level then the retest so technically you know we could go long above this above this high above or well, above that high there so to speak um but it just seems a little bit small you know i just normally expect uh and it's also gone a little bit high. the other little point here too that we can work with is that we can go to 4.3, which is a minor level, and then work down as 10, 20, and 30 in here. So that that 4.330 is the top of, of group one. So if we get tested support on top of this group one, the smaller one, then we won't be coming back to this number. Okay, so because this is quite small, I kind of accept it because it's a bit parabolic and we're going you know the third of the third of the third so if that's right then we should just kind of cruise up through through here right but um if we don't get support here then this is the catch 22 this is where it can fold back and and um you know have a pattern at, at this point in this in this time and then sort of move up at, at there so the longer term traders will need to um <clears throat> will need to um you know accommodate this because you know it, it is it is bullish um but yeah, so anyway, that's got it there. I also thought too, what I might do with, you know, when I do trade suggestions, I'll put something, you put a line in or something on a four hour or one hour or tick chart or something. I think what I might try to do, and it won't be a perfect thing to start, is that if, if I do, if I put trades on a, you know, a weekly chart or a, daily chart well they you know they're longer they will be longer term trades if i put it on a four hour trade um then it'll be shorter if i put it on an hourly trade on an hourly chart then it'll be you know smaller still uh and the same with a 15 minute or or a tick chart or something like that they'll be shorter term trades so because i i know that some people are trading um you know uh etfs and uh so on so they're they're there for the longer haul so i'll try and accommodate those um in in that way so yeah anyway it was just a little idea i had um so yeah i mean they're only just suggestions anyway these trades you know everybody's got to do their own thing at their end of the at, at the end of the day and i I can't do them too short of a time period because i only put the video out once a day and you know things happen you know when you get too close to the market so it's a different skill set okay anyway enough yakking but um from four hour go to one hour this is a slightly um oh no same count so from wave two here we've got one two three four five for one and two here we will also talk about going along here um so then I've counted up here as one, two, three, four, five, four, one, and two, and three, and four here. Three's a bit short, but five's a bit quite short as well here. That five could probably go over to here for that, actually. Um, but it's suitable because it's a nice wave four. It's sideways and complicated after wave two being quite simple. So as one and two here and one and two here, I feel quite comfortable with that. So looking at this here, we can see that We've got a little five wave move here. So we can look at this as one and two here. So um, yeah, we're going into wave three here. And then we'll have, copy this text, four and five coming in here. But the funny thing is, is that um, if this is the length of wave one here, if this is the length of wave one and two here, then this wave three has got to be longer than that. Okay, so it's on a bit of an angle, so we could just really take it to there, and it's not such a big distance at that point, is it? Then we can move that, and we can put that there, and that will give us a little bit of an idea, a bit of a yardstick, so to speak. Um, so we need to be longer than that, uh, so it looks quite long here. We could put green wave 3 here and green wave 4 here, which I think we've done 
on the 15 minute chart. So we talked about this yesterday, I think. Yeah, this is another way of looking at it. Um, let's get a bit more data. So the same thing here with one and two and three and four and five, no problems there. And then two here, then one and two. And we counted up here for three, four and five. So this wave four is a little bit smaller as well. But even in this case here, if we were going for five waves up into this space here, then we've only got wave one here. We pull back for wave two, so we don't need that. And then we're building up into wave three. So this wave three here will be also longer than this wave one here, just, you know, give you an idea. So that will bring us up into that space. So this is a more of a conservative count. So this will take us up to, up to the 4350, up to the midpoint here for this, for this count. Um, but like I said, I've got these different counts that I'm just sort of mulling over, um, but they all, they're all pointing up, so that's, so that's good. Um, yeah, um, taking the top out here, based on we've had the arrival, three waves for the reaction, the first high above the level, and it pulled back here, and then it took the top out there. So this is a bit like the like normally we would be looking at this pattern here where we come back below the level, and this is the most common pattern, um, but the variation on that is where it doesn't come back below the level. But we don't get caught because we wait for the first high to come in, and we can go to the second high if we can find it. Um, but this one here is the one that we're taking out um, in this next session here for this one, so it would be like that. But for a short-term trader, that's okay, up to the 50 there. Um, this 43.30, this is going to be, we'll definitely see something, um, we'll definitely see something come into uh, play in, in, in this space here because it's the top of group one. Um, but it's pretty parabolic too if the other count is right. But we should see something like this. That can also dip down to, to, um, it probably won't come this low, it normally just sits on the two here for this and, and then goes up. But it can come down to halfway between 10 and 20 here, the 15, the 1.5. So it's kind of important just to understand that because if that number two here becomes the resistance here, the number the pivot number two within group one, so 10, 20, 30, if that becomes the retested resistance, that means that we're going to be pulled back down to the closest largest number, which is this one here. And if that's the case, we're going to come below that. And then we'll have to look at this being as the first high above the level. So just rabbiting on on the bearish side there and just talking a little bit more about group one here on the bearish side using the number two here, the 20 I'll just call it the number two here. So if that becomes the retested resistance, then you know there's a problem. And this is where you can act, right? So it's just good to know that and, and observe it and watch it. And it just takes time to understand, you know, the trading levels, are tr they bring your attention to the price, but there's still a lot more to, to learn about each number and its role in the in, in 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 play okay so sorry for rabbiting on that's there and the nasdaq here um also in a bullish count as well so i could have the internal count wrong there's a few little things in here that i'm not that sort of happy about in in in, in these counts but um i've done the best i can with this so it looks all right so I'm still as yesterday we were looking for a move lower from from this top here we have seen a bit of a move down through here will it just have this really straight area here and just move off from that point that's possible so what we do in that case is we just buy new highs here So let's have a look at stock. I won't go on to the intraday of the NASDAQ. I've already burned up enough time. So have a look at stock, which is slightly positive. The, the, the half a dozen stocks that we look at, half of them are up and half of them are down, um, but not much. They're just sort of all a little bit sort of flat, like the NASI really within itself. So there won't be a lot of change that I've, that I've talked about since yesterday on a lot of these stocks, but let's uh, quickly uh, breeze through them. 
So this is Tesla, and we've got a couple of counts for this. One is like this here, where we've got the A wave over here, and A and a B, and a C wave moving across here, somewhere coming back up to the old high over here, and then dropping down at that point. Uh, the other count that I've got is with this wave 4 here being in place over here for that, and then we're counting the same impulse wave to the upside. So we could go with that if the 800 became the retested support at that point, then we know that we'd be heading up higher at that point in, in a bullish count. On the, uh, on the on this bearish count, it looks a little bit like this here. I think this is the one on the hourly chart with the A wave over here and A here and A and a B and a C for the B wave here. A bit complex, I know, um, but this count is one and two and one and two, and then we've got one and two in here, three and four in here, and then going up for the third and the fourth and the fifth and so on so it's, whichever way I look at it we're, we're going up um, this little consolidation uh, in in this space here we're expecting it to come down uh, yesterday so that's pulled back down nicely but it's being held there because of uh, well because of the it's funny how all things fit together really we've got um, a bit of a triangle pattern happening here but at the same time that's also the 50 60 percent retracement level area here from the previous high to here to here this box so it's really squarely sitting in the box I could just about drag that a bit more sideways there um, yeah and then we've also got this trend line that we talked about yesterday so it's doing a little battle there, isn't it? And it's displaying a triangle pattern, which should break to the upside in, in due course. And speaking of the upside, we'll go to the tick chart. And uh, yeah, so I'll just bring in a bit more data just to get the gist of things. So looking at wave four sitting here, put that a bit closer there. And that would leave us with wave one here and two here and then one and two here. I could probably change the degree of that slightly, but it's okay for the time being, okay? So we're still looking for this to go to the upside. So from blue wave two, we're going up to blue wave three over here, which will have five of five waves of green in there. So we've got one and two here, just opening that up a little bit. So from wave two here, we're going up to this green wave three here. Then we'll have green wave four and then green wave five, and that can go over there, but that will just come back. <clears throat> when I turn the program off. But uh, yeah, so from wave three here, Oops. to wave two here we're looking also for five waves within that structure we've got one and two here and then we've got three up here and then I thought I had the A the B and the C here but then yesterday I noticed it just got a little bit sort of uglier so we played around with it a little bit so I'll just put these out of the way slightly here for that we don't need them just yet and we started talking about putting wave four over here for that, so that's all good. We just knew it was going to drift, I knew it was going to drift sideways after I'd seen this particular pattern. So we're looking at it like this. So are we done here? We're talking about going down a bit further yesterday. Hmm, I'd like to see one more low come in place. It's a bit dodgy, but if I took this as the B wave here, I can count one and two in here and three, four, five for one and two here. Is that wave three here? It's a bit dodgy and then wave four here plays out. So we should we should be getting a new low here in this unless we look at it as a triangle pattern as an A, B, C, D and E here. So that's the other thing that could play out. So we could just borrow these here and we don't need this one. So we could just look at this as wave D and E here just to make things a bit more complicated. Because it's not really, I mean, if it was going to be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here, I'd have a nice five waves here. But that's not the case, so I need to be looking at some sort of triangle pattern in this space. 
So we'd have to look at that as three waves down. So an A and a B and a C for the C wave, an A and a B and a C for the D wave here, probably something like that, I don't know. And then some sort of E wave here in three waves and then up like that. So a bit of a, anyway, we're just monitoring that. But <clears throat> at the same time, you know, I love corrections better than trends because, you know, this, this is where trends are engineered from. You know, this is an accumulation pattern through here. So the bigger the correction, the bigger the next trend, you know. Um, if if you think trend, if you think correction to your enemy, then, um, then you need to adjust your thinking, you know, because you need to make them your friend. I mean, the, the correction is the ones that take the money off you. So, you know, and, and I understand it too. It's a bit like sort of, you know, when you're a kid and you burn yourself on the stove, you don't touch it again, you know. And as adults here, we lose money in, in uh, correction. So we tend not to, like, sort of go near them or look at them. But uh, you really got to get, get them on your side, so to speak. Okay, so I'll just leave that at that. So this is um, Facebook. And I should just put a little thing here, FB. This is a tick chart, and this is where we left off yesterday. Um, I won't go to the daily chart or anything, but we talked about, well, we've got a long position here. We've uh, talked about this dipping down here yesterday, you know, as the A wave, a B wave, and a C wave into the 61.8%. So that's all played out quite nicely here. So we can um, observe this moving higher now. So that's all cool. Um, could put, I hope it doesn't get any uglier, but let's just put our stop here for this. <coughs> this is this little trend still building, so this would be if you want to count this, continue to count it. This would be one and two here, and this would be one and two here. So this one and two here. Would, and then this would be the third wave, and this would be the fourth wave. So there'll be, um, it might pull back down a bit or whatever, but basically that's the fourth and that's the fifth wave. So from from this one, that's one and two and one and two and three and four. So the top of the third, fourth, fifth. Then we've got this one here, which would be one and two. So we could bring that back here again, checking checking that consolidation of support and then pushing up here. And then that would give you basically wave one up there and then would come back and push this up here. So that would be, you know, these are like drunken mud maps. So don't take them, you know, you've got to take them with a pinch of salt. So <clears throat> yeah, that could pull back from that low, when that high, you should be able to see the first two highs coming. That will be the 50, 60% retracement level there. And then it would move off again. So be careful. All I'm saying is be like we've added here, but we'll have to carry that loss at this point. Um, yeah. And then if you wanted to add again, then it would be over this point. Or you could draw a line through here even better. You could buy in the box if you want. I don't think there's any problem. As long as you've got five waves here, you know. If it if it follows this path, um, then you're okay, you know. You'll be able to buy the pullback. But if something else weird happens in here, and this is correct, because this could all just be all of this ABC here, which we got here, could just go to being an A wave and then a B wave over here and a C wave back down here, do you know? So I think we're okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's all good. These just move in the night, these guys, but yeah, three, four, five. So we're going higher. I mean, once again, if this is the length of wave one here, then we would want wave three to be longer than that plus another 60 percent so we can just grab this here bring that down roughly to there grab that move that over to here and you got your one that's where we're heading up to in this in this point up up here somewhere i 
obviously there's more Fibonacci numbers that you can go in here. If I was an intraday trader, then I'd put 127 uh, in here on top of the 100 and you'll find that that's where you, you should be taking your first profit at the 127. Anyway, something you can just note. Um, okay, so the next one is square, and we're just on the daily chart here. As you know, I'm not too fussed about this. We, we need to get above here on support before we can add again on here. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing here. We just haven't got the first high above the level yet for that. So with Apple here, we're looking at two counts. One's a little bit like Tesla, where we're, we're, where we're rallying at the moment, and that will take us um, up a little bit closer to this old high here. Probably not the case, but we'll just keep an eye on it. So somewhere between um, probably 142, 143 for this B wave here. So all of this coming down through here as the A wave here, and then an A, and a B and a C wave here for the B wave. The other count is we need to look at this as bullish as one and two, and then going up for wave three here, four here and five here, making new highs. So uh, we are long, and um, I counted this structure here uh, in the most conservative uh, way I can. So today I've also um, extended it um, up a little um, up further as well. So um, let's go in and check on that. So you'll see a different count. Um, here for this, but that's alrighty. So from a little bit tricky to see here, but just from this low here for the time being, um, this is I've lifted the count up from that point. So looking for five waves up here, just in this in this leg. So uh, one and two and three and four and five for one and two here and then extending this up so we've got one and two here and one and two and three and four and five for the third wave so with still a third wave that we we're looking for yesterday but i've dropped it down one degree um, but also lifted the whole count up as well so um, wave four here pulling back to the wave four of one lesser degree and then wave five giving us a new high here for wave three obviously the 38 is going to give us a bit, little bit of grief here i'd imagine this can also pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree here before moving up so i don't know if wave five of three will make it to 140 because we need to get through an eight profit taking number so we may just to be warned it may just come here and then some sort of ABC pattern dipping here and then moving up into that space. So just be mindful um, of that. But um, at the same time, um, yeah, just stay long uh, in this market. Okay, so next one is uh, Alphabet. And with Alphabet here, we haven't really been sort of interested. We're still looking for it to, it will pop because it's been traveling sideways. That means that it's uh, because it's been moving sideways, it means it's corrective. It also means that it's an accumulation process. So if you wanted to buy this, well, then this is probably the time because it's going to pop shortly and pop above there. So that distance above here, uh, so distance sideways will give it the distance in height, squaring time and price. <clears throat> so that should take us above the um, two um, in time. Um, yeah so you can just buy new highs if you wanted to um but yeah it's too much not much in there for for a trade so to speak um amazon okay so alrighty so uh yeah this is just the tick chart and yesterday we were talking about well we'd been tracking as you know we've been tracking these little five waves here and we got our last fifth wave in so then we started to count down look it looked impulsive so then we thought well we'll come back for the b wave here to the into the box um so it's done that <clears throat> so this can slide a little bit further now down here so we could probably look at this here being roughly the same so to speak um, so down into this space here for that what else do we need to know here we can also look at the 
retracement level from this high to this low that's also down in that box there as well so that all sort of adds up um, but we always need to look at you know if um, if I've made a mistake in some way I mean could the whole correction just be in here as an A and a B and a C or something and this is up for one and back for two pulling back 61.8 percent in three waves and then move up from there well this is why we've got our back up here so we bring that down to this high here and then we could also bring it down to this high here probably as well so that would be about the closest we could get to it so in a nutshell this um three uh three four fifty here the it's the the fifty is the important point here okay so if you if you don't if you see the market coming back up and toying with this area then on a 20 tick chart or something this is 100 ticks then try to find a classic trading levels pattern on top of that 50 there again so just have a look for, for that but that's where that would play out i'll lift that up just a little bit so it's a little bit a bit clearer from that but look for that little classic trading otherwise we're going to be coming down here but if we do push up from here then look for this little pattern uh, to come into play here in that first high above the level and you may be able to refine it to another one over here that's about as close as I can get you onto this point just in case it um, yeah but it could do because it looks like an A and a B and a C here we just yeah I mean if it pushes up to that if it pushes back up there you'll know that it's you know probable that we're going to be uh, going higher so you'll need to look for support at that point there's probably a case for counting five waves in this move here but uh, I won't go into that uh, yeah so there are triggers to the upside um, but expecting it to pull back there alrighty I'll leave it at that uh, so thanks for uh, tuning in as always and uh, enjoy the weekend cheers